Hello my dear students, I hope that you are all doing well. So today's lesson, we are going to work on a new unit, unit number 6, that talks about parts of the body, which means, for example, our arms, feet, hands, head, and so on. So let's get started by the objectives of this lesson. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify parts of the body and also to ask and answer questions about parts of the body. So let's move to the vocabulary lesson. We are going to listen to the song and please try to repeat. Unit 6. Lesson 1. Activity 1. Listen, then echo. repeat them one by one ankle ankle back back finger finger knee knee neck neck shoulder shoulder toe toe rest rest so let's move to the practice to check your understanding here you have to label the parts of the body you will have here the words which means the parts of the body and you have here this image you have it in your workbook so we are going to label these parts of the body so look at this flesh what is it yes very good neck neck the next one here what is it shoulder shoulder very good here this flesh what is it back back very good let's move on here look at this flesh what is it yes rest rest very good look at this flesh here what is it yes finger finger and this one what is it knee knee very good and this one here what is it ankle ankle the last one here what is it Toe, toe. So keep in your mind that we have in our hands fingers. We have in our hands fingers. And we have in our feet toes. Toes. So keep that in your mind, please. We have another exercise here. You have to complete the sentences about you. I give you here some examples. Number one, I have two shoulders. I have two shoulders. Number two, I have one neck. I have one neck. Number three, I have ten fingers. I have ten fingers. The last one, 
I have two ankles. I have two ankles. These are my examples. And here is the exercise that you will complete. So number one here, I have two. And choose one of the parts of the body that we have learned before. Number two, I have one. Number three, I have ten. Number four, I have two. Please do the exercise. You have it in your workbook. Let's move on now to the grammar lesson. And please try to pay attention. Here you will be able to ask and answer questions about body parts. So let's look at the examples. Here we have the first one. Does your knee hurt? Does your knee hurt? So hurt which means that you are for example sick. And the answer here is yes it does or we can say no it doesn't no it doesn't the next one is does her ankle hurt does her ankle hurt and the answer might be yes it does or no it doesn't yes it does or no it doesn't the next one is does his finger hurt does his finger hurt we might say again yes it does or no it doesn't so you may notice here in these images the first one is a girl a girl so and here you have the pronoun her her so keep that in your mind we use her for girls we use her for girls and this one is a boy and here is the pronoun his so we use his for the boys here we use her for the girls and here we have his we use it for the boys so let's move to the practice here you have to answer the questions to answer the questions so the first one look at this image here a boy who is crying so the question is does his knee hurt does his knee hurt look at the image here he is crying which means he is hurting in his knee so does his knee hurt is yes or no yes it does yes it does look at the next image here we have a girl so the question is does her toe hurt does her toe hurt and look at this circle here she is hurting in her finger in her finger not her toe so the answer must be no it doesn't no it doesn't and look at the third picture here the question is does her back hurt does her back hurt the answer must be yes very good yes it does yes it does the last picture here and this boy so the question is does your head hurt does your head hurt but look at this picture he is in a good health he is in a good health so the answer must be no it doesn't no it doesn't so let's look at the next exercise here you have to look and write questions okay write questions so the first one look at this image here 
he is hurting in his rest he is hurting in his rest so you have the answer here yes it does yes it does so the question must be yes very good does his rest hurt does his rest hurt yes it does yes it does the next picture here is a girl who is hurting in her ankle so the question must be yes very good does her ankle hurt does her ankle hurt the answer must be yes it does the last picture here you have he is hurting in his shoulder he is hurting in his shoulder so the answer here is yes it does so the question must be yes does his shoulder hurt does his shoulder hurt yes it does so please go back to your student book on page 48 and 49 and your workbook on page 21 and 22 and please try to work on the exercises there to get more understanding the lesson so i hope that you enjoyed the lesson and thank you for your attention and please take care of yourself